<laughs> okay. So the first track we're going to drop in on is the green trail, Kungsleden. Now this is only my second run on this track. We came out a bit earlier, but the rain really hit and then the lightning struck nearby, so they had to close the lift. But I have to say, I did really enjoy the run down this one. It's a very nice track to start on for people new to mountain biking. And I have to say, like, I did one run before this and it really did rain not so long ago. And the tracks actually held up really nicely. There's a bit of standing water, but nothing that's any much of a problem. The tracks are going to get a bit more difficult to commentate on as we go on. But there's nothing at all steep on this track. It's got really nice flow. And we talk about it more in the in the Kung's Birgit breakdown, but this park really does have something for everyone. For the more advanced mountain bikers watching, maybe you want to skip through. I can put on the screen where it starts getting interesting. trying to time it with the brakes in the conditions today lots of showers coming watch out for these bridges when they're wet they don't have their chicken wire on so if you touch the brakes there you're in some trouble gonna sit down and cruise through this section you can see what we're getting onto in a bit uh, just gonna take some warming up slalom barnen jenna what i like about this is it's not your like oh that water got in my shoe it's not your standard green, so it's just heavy pack or hard pack flow the whole way down. It does have quite a variation of trails and conditions, so you kind of do get prepared for some other stuff. And then into this bottom section, which is super fun. It is me, so of course there's an inside on offer. Big gap there. Oh. <laughs> it's a nice bleak position turn. There's a couple of little rocks pointing out on the berms here that just make me a bit nervous. Watch out for that little kicker as well. He's got a little bit of a buck about him. Now 
Well, this one has got chicken wire, so we're a bit safer there. And there we go. So that is the green run. And this bridge is also pretty safe. We we'll come all the way down to the lift here. And, uh, and if you just want to tie your arms out a little bit more, we have this. <laughs> cool. Good fun. Next up, we'll get on the blues. Okay. Stepping it straight up. Let's drop into Flipper. So, this is the first blue trail that we're going to take. And there's the turning for NM Barnum, which is a personal favourite of mine. Now, this track does have some extra options if you want them. Shana, Shana. Thanks, amigo. Always important to be super friendly to the other riders on trail here. You see, this track really does allow you to get off the ground if that's what you want to do. But there's nothing here that's like a mandatory gap, you know? <laughs> and again, these trails are in really nice condition considering how much it rained earlier today. So they've all got these like double lips almost. Uh, it's a bit sketchy because it's the first run on this trail. That's a bit short. <laughs> um, so trying to judge the speed is a little tricky. Again, be super careful on these wooden bridges though. We've got some more local riders. Yeah, boy! Ripping! Yeah, sick! Flicking that back end round. Oh, the kids are on a charge. We just follow these for a while. Nice pumps here. I feel like they can probably be gapped if you want to. He's got the judge of the speed for these. Ooh, that was deep, bro. Yes, sick. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, man. Having fun? What's your favorite thing about the park? I don't know. Well, that's because there's so much good here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Again, with the double lip. I mean, just control the speed coming into them because. You do get quite far. Oh, this is a fun track though. But you know the thing of like, ride, re-ride, re-ride, you know? So, just take it easy. Maybe don't do what I'm doing on this run and just try. This ain't never been first time. Oh, what a sick blue trail this is. This is crazy good. And so many beautiful spots to drop a Scandi, man. Woo! What? There it goes. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Swanbeck, was this you making all these Scandi spots? <laughs> so sick. We'll be back out there to get some clips. Okay, so Kungstegen. Uh, it's a little bit away from the lift. You just have to pedal up a tiny bit to get there. It's quite steep, so I'm quite out of breath. Um, just done a lap with the Groms. And now it's time for a faster lap. I don't really remember it. It's very wet, but I'll try and talk my way down here. 
some solid gear changing to start the break. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. It's really got to keep your head up, but this is a proper enduro track, and you guys know how much I love Gesunda and this track and Hen and Barnum really remind me of that that is a spicy route. They had a couple more trails or there was something else in the area. This would be a sick place for some racing because this is a proper enduro trail. We're gonna stay away from the inside. Got enough heat for that lady. Oh that's a bit sharp, sharpen that one up a bit too much. That rock's quite big. Great commentary for myself there. That's a big rock, he says. Just a little gap into there. Sort of tire tap on the wooden guy. I remember this gets a little bit tight down here. <laughs> tighter than I thought. <laughs> but it's a bit good, good bit of track to remember. Get your words out, Ollie. How to remember how to speak whilst riding fresh stuff like this. Oh, a flat corner in there just for the kicks. Oh. So this is where I was following Eddie and Ville before. Oh, that section's sick. Just use those rocks to pop over that hole. What a track to train on. Oh my God. Oh, that was a bit heavy for the revel there. That's a cool little gap. Oh, oh loose. Had a little bit of evasive action to avoid that log that was in there. What a day for it, man. What a day. Yeah. <laughs> but you're still smiling, and so am I, so it's gonna be great. Okay then, people. Wanna join on for something silly? I'm gonna take on the first black trail of the day, NM Barnum. I rode it last year, I loved it. But it has a start through flipper. Watch out. I mean, this chicken wire is super grippy, so that's not too much of a problem. Oh. Warm them brakes up a bit. Gonna need a little drop over the roof. I really can't remember this track. Brakes are warm. We're not gonna go too wild on it straight away. That drop probably needs to go a little bit faster for it to work nicely. Oh, really got to focus, keep that head up. Seems to remember that being a pretty 
gnarly section in here. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh. Then this is also pretty gnarly. You really just got to be off the brakes in there. But it's hard to do when it's this wet. Wooden bridge, scary, scary, scary. Do not break on that bridge. Again, you want to be more off the brakes than I was there. But I can feel my eyes getting pulled closer to my front wheel in these tricky conditions. Ooh. But this is what riding's about. Oh, pushing yourself, setting yourself, and this is certainly a track to do it. So if you're coming here for a full day's family riding, this ain't the track you take your family on. But you want to get some proper enduro laps in, and this is the track for you. Oh, I couldn't remember what was over the other side of that. So we had to really slow down, which has not helped the flow in this section. Can't honestly say I want to go much faster in these conditions anyway. Oh, oh you dropped a flat. Oh, the Rebel loved that. Really felt it accelerate at the other side. Seem to remember absolutely ripping through this section in the dry with a couple of gaps. I think I was gapping onto the back side of that route. Oh, this section's sick! Oh, whoo! <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it's tough. That one's tough, and that's a big route. We'll have to look at that one to get that right the second time around. I would definitely be coming back to show you what this track's like in slightly more favourable conditions. While I do quite enjoy riding in the wet, I understand that these aren't exactly the best conditions for showcasing what this park has to offer. That, oh, that's also wet. That was freaking gnarly. Good track though. That was better. Really not pushing too much on these jumps today. Just a bit damp. Forgot about that from last time. Really good tracks. Have a bit more of an idea of what's coming around these corners, which is nice. I remember that this high line was super important. Oh, that works so much better. Getting out here. Oh, and in there. Well, a bit too heavy on the brakes in there. Whew, this is a good track. Then into the jump section. This one's a bit sketchy because you come up so blind to it. Then this cool little on off, which is super nice. Then a sick whip jump. And this one was blind. Oh. And then another fairly big one. That's quite short, Ollie. Oh. And then that one's really kicky and into this rock garden where you've got to be off the brakes, let it do its thing. Those corners are nice. Nearly killed a squirrel on the last run there. Oh, that's a bit of a pull. Forgot about that section. Oh, this is cool. Hard to keep the pace up through here. And all these wet roots, oh my god. I remember this, oh, I don't know how to take that after just two runs, or oh, one run, I should say. Remember that one being a big pull better a second time. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, so this track's tricky. It's definitely a tricky one. <laughs> and this weird bit here. Maybe you could go over that rock. Remember this. Little jump here. Oh, I really didn't like that last time, so we're just gonna roll it. We're gonna roll the last jump as well. But you get the idea. It's a freaking good track. 
so that's our day done here at Kungsberg. And I have to say, I am really impressed. Last time we came here, it was a bit of a rush. We just did a couple of hours riding. But today in a rain stopped play kind of day where the lift was shut for an hour because of thunderstorms, we still managed to rack up 40 kilometers and over 2,000 meters of descending. I will definitely be coming back. Thank you for watching. And if you've made it this far, please like and subscribe. It really helps out.